Hey, this is Daryl Etherington here with TechCrunch TV at uh, the offices of Bionim, where they make the Nimi. And we've got uh, Carl Martin here, founder and CEO. Yes. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the Nimi for people who may not know what it is? Sure. So the Nimi is a wristband that uh, authenticates your identity using your cardiac rhythm. So it's, it's actually your electrocardiogram. Uh, the signal that your heart produces is a biometric, uh, like a fingerprint. And so you wear the wristband, it knows who you are, knows you, and then it becomes a provider of your identities for things like uh, bypassing passwords and pins, unlocking physical locks, but even more interestingly, imagine smart environments know who, know who you are, provide a personalized experience, um, and can adapt to you. So it's really about your identity persistent, always on you in a secure, privacy protective manner. That's amazing. So I think like what a lot of people who haven't necessarily used a lot of home automation or anything, the one thing a lot of people do have is the keyless entry for cars, right? Yeah. You walk up, the door opens, and you're in if you have the key in your pocket. Yeah. So it's like that, but you walk home, climate control, everything. Right. I mean, that's one thing that you have to carry, yeah. plus everything else you have to carry. Um, so, plus you lose that and somebody else picks it up and now you have to worry about who has access yeah. to all your stuff. Yeah. So this is really about your identity on you that can't, as soon as you take it off, it doesn't work for anyone right. else. Um, and then it's everything, right? It's not just unlocking this or that. It's, it's, it's totally a, a customizing yeah. your experience. Exactly. And I mean, our idea is, you know, what if everything you interact with knew it was you? How would it behave differently mm -hmm. uh, and create a completely personalized experience to you? And I think that's like, like these examples that we're providing are, are even still just very early days because a lot of what answering that question is going to be developers that then. Of course, yeah. Um, I mean, the developers matter so much because this is about an ecosystem. It's not uh, about, you know, one thing. You know, we're putting out the platform and the enabling technologies. So uh, we actually formally launched our developer program just a few weeks ago. Um, and, uh, we, and uh, you know, initially we had over 6,000 people had signed up to write applications, which is huge. Um, and so we're looking to that ecosystem and also all of the, the partners that uh, we're, we're actually talking to right now uh, to, uh, to make that uh, sort of vision a reality. Cool, great. And you've got some of the hardware here, right? Yeah, so actually uh, I was willing to show you, um, this is our very first NIMI uh, from early this year. And this, uh, this was essentially what we used to prove to investors that we could do uh, what we cl claimed to, uh, to do. Um, and so we, this is our Alpha Revision 1. Um, it's pretty ugly, though some people have told us this is exactly what they'd want to wear on their wrist. <laughs> um, and uh, I can show you, uh, this is not uh, exactly the final, but this is uh, kind of what, the, the, what it will look like approximately when it's uh, released next year. Um, so you can see obviously much more integrated and uh, um, but you can see a bit of the evolution and uh, uh, it, it's pretty interesting now with hardware we can move pretty fast and make yeah. this a reality. That's within a year. Yeah, oh yeah, less than a year. I mean we don't actually talk about it too much but I'll, I'll, I'll actually uh, tell you which is that the NIMI was really only conceived of in April of this year. So, I mean, we had the technology uh, we had been working on for, for a couple of years, yeah. but to putting that into a wristband uh, for persistent identity actually only uh, came about this year uh, in April. So uh, we have moved quite fast. That's amazing. So uh, how, what kind of hours are you pulling? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me. And don't ask these guys either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have a very busy full office. Yes, uh, have you grown the team a lot in that time? Absolutely. So yeah, I think uh, when we sort of publicly launched the product, I think around we were seven or eight people. Uh, we're now 17 people. Um, and we're looking uh, by next year, we'll probably be about 40 people. With hardware, uh, you know, it's not just about can you make, uh, you know, one or two that, uh, that are functional. You have to be able to make millions of them. So mm -hmm. you, you have to be able to assemble them reliably and make it uh, sort of repeatable. So sometimes there's, a, you know, iterations of tweaking uh, to make that happen. So some mechanical details might look a little bit different because uh, we have to make millions of these and they have to work, you know, out of the box. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because that's what it, like you need a nail experience out of the box with something like this, or people will put it down and never. Oh yeah, it. and actually that's a huge thing with wearables right now, yeah. where people try it out and they they're not, you know, it, it's it's cool initially, but then they they uh, you know put it down. So we're actually putting a huge amount of effort on user experience that out of the box people are going to be yeah. delighted by the experience and it's useful as well. So ultimately our focus is uh, is on that user experience. Right, and the developer 
as we, you mentioned, is, is a big part of that too. But out of the box, like, what, what kind of thing are you planning to do firsthand so that people see the value? Right. I mean, the basic thing that, of course, everybody talks about is replacing passwords. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that, that is, we will provide that capability. It doesn't depend on developers where essentially you can unlock your devices and, and manage passwords. Um, and that'll be but, all first party software. Yeah, that'll be first party stuff. But I think uh, we're really going to support the developer community uh, in uh, different areas of interest. So, uh, health and fitness is one area. Um, also, home automation and, and, and uh, sort of smart appliances is another area. Um, hospitality is a huge one. So, uh, you know, you can uh, look forward to early next year. We'll be announcing some partnerships there. Um, but uh, it, it's going to be about saying, hey, this, th this is actually going to change my, you know, change my day-to-day -day life. It's not just oh, something shiny and then I'll forget about it. Right. Hospitality. So it could be your hotel key. It could theory. be. Yes, it there is. Is that, could be. Are, is that a confirm? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no confirmation, but uh, I mean, it's in our video, so we're definitely yeah. thinking about it. Okay. Let me put it that way. Great. So I was going to try to get you to reveal some far future <laughs> Products. So, well, I can tell you a few things. I mean, wearables are so new, and the wristband is sort of the obvious, you know, form factor people are willing to try. But I can tell you that uh, we don't believe that the wristband is the only form factor that people are interested in. So we right. are uh, certainly looking towards different form factors, different well, you place and me, on the if body. Well, you we have this in our glasses. Absolutely, yeah. It's that's easy, right? It, exactly. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks very yeah. much. It's been uh, great hearing about your progress and, and where the project is right now. My pleasure. Thanks. This is Daryl from TechCrunch TV. Thanks for joining us.